as a quick caveat to everybody, I have incredibly terrible lighting right now. It's night, so I don't have a face this time. <laughs> So, there's something I want to correct here. There's a misconception, and it has to do with stem cells. Now, this, to some of you, or quite a few of you, actually, this may not come as too much of a surprise, because you may already know this, or be educated, but this is for the people who aren't, and who go around propagating this idea that stem cells come from dead babies. They're harvested, and it's awful, and everyone's dying, or some such nonsense. I know that's a bit of hyperbole, people, but honestly, it does come across like that when I hear it sometimes. The reality of the situation is stem cells come from several week old fertilized zygotes, basically. They're clumps of cells that could one day be a human being, sure, but if put into a womb. And as far as I know of, maybe this isn't always true in other countries, or maybe even here, but most of these come from these clumps of cells that are never destined to go into a mother, that are never going to be selected for the chance to go on in life, and as such, they will end up being tossed away in one form or another. If they don't get implanted, they don't last forever. It's not like these things, you know, just sit frozen until needed. They, they expire, to use a simple term. And once they expire, there's nothing to do with them but dispose of them. And when I hear people say, well, life is sacred. These are unborn children, and we can't be harvesting them for science. Well, all right, I get the concept that life is sacred, and I'm not going to exactly try to attack this idea. But the thing is, these ones are going in the dump to begin with, so your argument actually kind of comes off as, life is sacred, so don't harvest them, just throw them away. It, it what? What, what's wrong with this line of logic? Can you tell me? Because I, I can see it. Life is sacred, so just throw it away. Well, you can't use that argument for something destined for the dustbin. And if you're against stem cell research for whatever reason, fine, but don't use the life is sacred argument and then misrepresent the events that are happening by saying it's dead babies that conjures up this image of babies pulled out of the womb and then like thrown in a blender or some such nonsense. Scare tactics, they discredit you because you have people like me who are probably much more eloquent than me talking about this issue and disproving what you're saying and it makes everything you say look pretty questionable. If you had if you went with a solid premise it's wrong for x reasons that are factual or at least opinions based on things that are real, your whole argument gains more credibility. Don't use scare tactics where dead babies are thrown in blenders to create stem cells when this is not true. So I mean really if we're looking at things, why are you going to hold back potential scientific progress in favor of just throwing it away? Quite honestly, that's wasteful, and the sanctity of life argument does nothing here because it's already getting thrown away. So why are you stunting the progress of science simply because, well, at this point your argument doesn't even hold water, so you're just standing in the way of science from what seems to be a reactionary viewpoint. Now, as another point... It could be said that my arguments actually can be extended the other way, which is that instead of using these clumps of cells for scientific purposes, it should instead be extended to where we don't do this at all, where we don't throw them away or we don't create these things. And to be quite honest, that's just foolish, because you can't say just don't do something. You can to a point with murder and whatnot, but with scientific progress where we have the potential to cure illnesses, to fix debilitating conditions, what right actually do you have to sit there and say that we shouldn't be doing this? A woman who has conception issues should have the right to have scientific aid to get a child. A woman suffering from a terrible degenerative illness of some kind does have the right for science to pursue every avenue for her cure. I'm not, of course, at that point advocating every avenue where we duck people for experiments or whatever, but when a clump of cells is destined for the dustbin, and by science, it's where it's going to go because it's going to expire eventually, we should extract something useful from it. Just something to think about.